With the possibility of election rigging, vote buying and ballot theft, which has dominated our election history, as well as questionable security system. And now, with just a few weeks to the election, citizens must be given guarantees regarding their safety in order for them to be free to carry out their civic duty. In this report, Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubobokun explains the potential security threat to the election. Over the years, election-related insecurity commotion, bribery, and chaos have become the norm. Examples include ballot snatching, thugs disrupting the voting process, and general corruption between party members. But as the general elections approach, there is growing concern about the possibility of chaos, desperation, and mischief during elections. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has called for a new approach in election security that will translate to protecting the voter, INEC staffs, as well as security synergy to check thuggery during the elections. He however said that the prevailing security challenges may lead to the cancellation or postponement of the general elections bill to start in February. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, debunked the statement, saying that the election will be held as planned. Some stakeholders expressed concern in response to the statement, calling it unacceptable and arguing that government officials should instead foster Nigerians optimism. INEC at this stage should not tell us election may likely be cancelled because of security. You have been planning the election for years or months. And if I may ask, as the INEC chairman discussed with the president about the situation concerning INEC and the election, what did the president say? The government doesn't need to, you know, to come out openly and be telling Nigerian that oh, and we might shift the election, we might not conduct the election. No, it is sacrosanct for them that election will be conducted because a new president must emerge. Although there have been security threats in previous elections in Nigeria, public affairs analyst Shagun Shopita believes that the 23 polls will be different. The security with regards to electoral activities itself. Um, so when you talk about electoral violence, for example, you know, um, and because of the trend that we have seen since 1999 till 2019 and the introduction of the initiatives that INEC has now put in place, election violence, electoral violence will significantly be lower or will be significantly lower. Electorates also gave their words on the state of security in election days, saying that the government should put in place measures to ensure a violence-free day. We have witnessed the worst in this country uh, during the time in 2015 when almost every area in Abuja was actually being bombed whatsoever with the, the Boko Haram. Still yet, the elections still go ahead. So I believe, irrespective of what Nigerians, what we are facing presently, I believe the election will, is going to be successful. This is an individual thing. So it depends on how we, we see it. If you feel you want to, because whether you like it or not, we still have to go out and vote. We still have to do what we have to do because you can't keep doing one thing and expect a change. Ringing could be a thing of the past with the introduction of many technological appliances said to be used during the elections, such as the bimodal voter accreditation system, Beavers, and other electronic equipment. In ensuring the safety of citizens and their properties throughout the election process, security agencies, however, have a significant role to play. Emmanuel Ulubobuku, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.